jurisdiction free from tyranny You can tell now a long paper trail If I burn it, change my whereabouts Don't care what you trying to tell me now Or how you perceive the truth You gotta dig deep with this roof review And a oh he do Copyright Disclaimer Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Islam, Islam, Islam. We are here. We are here. We are here for 30 minutes more or less. Probably less because I got to go make dinner. Anyway, welcome truth seekers, you know, all of our illustrious Moorish Americans and those awakening to the true essence of our birthright, nationality, and history to our Sabbath study session. I actually made it in on a Saturday. Islam. So, you know, I'm not, I'm a uh, Try not to rush through this, <laughs> but again, you know, there's people waiting for me to cook who, who could very well cook for themselves, but I'm not going to go get into that, you know, life of a mom, right? So anyway, um, today's session is titled Great Substance, right? AKA free money, but no people. All right. Great Substance. So um, before I begin, a couple of announcements, right? Uh, we, I just got the proof in today for the new color edition, yes, of Hidden in Plain Sight by Brother Kush Day, right? Available for pre-sale, and if you get it before the 12th, it'll be like, uh, I guess, it'll be, a, it'll be a discount on it, um, at least 10% off. So yeah, get that, the new color edition. This is just the proof, so don't mind that bar. Second announcement, summer study sets for Moorish youth is forthcoming. Summer study sets, right? Cause um, you know how you get just downloads and it's like, hmm, that'd be a good idea. Summer's coming up, you know? So why not give our youth something to do so that we can, you know, direct our future by influencing our youth ourselves and not leaving it up to others to do it, right? So um, look for that, that'll be forthcoming. That'll be like a handwriting practice. Um, that's like geared toward helping them memorize our constitution and our uh, prophecies and all that good stuff. And plus they're improving their handwriting and learning about our history. So yeah, just be on the lookout for that um, very, very soon. So uh, again, another announcement, <laughs> fair warning. All right, I'm going through a little bit right now. So if this goes all over the place, I apologize in advance because if you all know, right um there's a if you haven't heard there's an eclipse coming up on uh, in a couple of days on august 8th right and i actually did <laughs> i did the astrology for it and it's like whoa okay this should be interesting i wonder what's about to happen and i wonder if, ha if it has something to do with what i'm about to present and share with you all right so this real quick this and i suggest you all look up your astrology look up your chart and do a transit chart with your birth chart to see how this thing is going to affect you over the course of a year because you will have a this is just like the flicking a switch and you have a year to get something in place right um so 
the, the eclipse is at 19 degrees of Aries, which is a trip. It's like our new year. It's like, it's like a fresh, clean new slate. And here right now, I'm proposing that we, the Moors set this as our new year. Are you kidding me? It's an eclipse on the real beginning of Aries, because I don't know why people think that the, the month begins in the middle of where the moon is. It's like, doesn't a new month begin at the new moon, new moon? Right. So this is a new moon in Aries. I propose that we set this as our new year because some stuff about to pop off because it's in Aries. But Mars is in Pisces right now. So it's not going to be violent. It's going to be insistent spirituality. All right. So and then I felt compelled to do something like this today. And here come a more asking me to do what I do today, what I'm getting ready to do today. And then I checked my horoscope and it said, you know what, you need to say something, something about something you love and you believe in and you really feel passionate about because people might be a little more open to it today. So Islam to you all who are here right now and Islam to you all who will see this later, you know, because hey, it came to you and I'll get into that in a minute. So those are my announcements, right? So this is perfect that led right into it's like you know how you feel like I really want to I really want to and then something pop if you're in alignment something happens that's like hey somebody in my case somebody asked me to actually do it so um the DM that inspired it right and shout out to brother Himes Bay Ronnie Himes Bay right I love that name Ronnie I don't know why I love that name Ronnie right it must be something in my past life or something but anyway, he sent me, um, or he didn't send me, he sent Mercy Quest, Mercy Charities an inquiry about whether or not we could help this individual brother. And unfortunately, I had to respond to him, no, we don't fund individuals anymore. We only do groups, right? Because it's more likely if you're part of a group, if one or two of you all fall off, at least that'll be there. A lot willing be one of or two of you all to continue the month, the mission that we funded, that Mercy Charities and all of its donors funded, right? Because I got this thing about spending other people's money. It's in my chart that I can, I'm going to be allowed to be in charge of other people's money, and I don't play with other people's money. My money, yes. Other people's, no. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna act like it's mine. I'm gonna act like it's yours. <laughs> so you were willing to donate to this, and this person flaked, but it was five of them only that one person so we only do groups so he asked me can we help this brother get out of i forgot what it was i'm sorry um he said can we help with this brother i'm like nope we can't do it you can thank rise of the so-called moors for that right and his response was no doubt i'll remember that going forward question are you looking for board members i would love to comprehend the whole grant thing possibly able to reduce my plantation hours to focus on nation building soon yeah, did you hear that clap? That's what happened when I saw that email. Cause I'm like, I want to say something, but who cares? And then he asked me about that. So praise a lot for that all the time, right? Because um, I actually took a course on grant writing, right? Like seeking them, how to research them, how to um, read the requirements, how to issue letters of inquiry, right? And how to write the dang grant itself. And this was in 2001, I want to say one. And I'm just like, I don't I have this happens to me a lot. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but I'm being led to do it. So let me just get it. I have no idea where it's going to go. Fast forward three years. I should mention I, I do inject astrology in this a lot because I love the blend of um, physics and how it reflects in the spirituality. I should have mentioned I'm also a Libra rising, so there must be balance. So I need the mundane and the metaphysical to be present so I can be interested. All right. So. Um, my moon is conjunct Saturn. Moon is with, with women. It rules like how you are a woman. The moon. Right. Men and everybody. It rules how you feel. But it, in women, it really rules how you are as a woman. Right. Mine is conjunct Saturn. So, moon controls what makes you feel good and nourished and fulfilled. And mine is conjunct Saturn. People say it's the worst placement you can have. Mine is I love to work. It makes me feel good. And I especially love to work with elders. And I will get into that, right? And it also says that 
I'm going to be everybody's mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I could do that. You know, it's like, I'll, it's like, okay, in addition to running a book company, a charity, it's like, okay, I, I spend four hours a day on that. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, Mercy Charities. Uh, Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, um, Khalifa Media, right? Four hours for each one because the other 16 hours I'm awake, I got to be a, a mom or whatever. Take uh, four hours. I only spend four hours a day on my stuff because the rest of the time I'm, I'm a mom, right? And I'm just like, I got a feeling it's going to come in handy one day, right? And it's starting to come in handy because this brother said, free me. I'm on it. <laughs> Turns out I've been on it, right? So shout out to Brother Heinz Bay again for bringing this up because, um, and I appreciate how he did it because he kept bringing up this same question over and over again, right? He asked me this at least three times that I can remember, but he only did it when it came up. So shout out to Brother Heinz Bay. I really appreciate you for not being annoying <laughs> and for reminding me of my uh, 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 my uh, rampant procrastination that I really got to work on because that's not cool. You shouldn't have had to ask me three times because I know me personally, I can't ask more than one because it, then it sounds too much like begging and I'll get into that, right? So, so yeah, shout out to Brother Heinz Bay. You were real smooth with it, right? Compliments, you know, so... Before I begin, you know, as usual, I always start with um, definitions, right? So, instead of diving into my ancient books, I'm like, okay, I know what the times that we're in right now. And just because the truth is written down, that doesn't mean people are adhering to it. So, let me see what people are working with in these days and times. So, our first definition is philanthropy, right? And I went to... Where's this site? The Lily Family School of Philanthropy. Please remember that name, Lily Family. And shame on me, I haven't done my research on who these people are because it must be more than one, right? Because of that word right there. Um, that name's gonna come up again. So the Lily Family School of Philanthropy at the Indiana University in Indiana Indianapolis. So philanthropy now means goodwill to fellow members of the human race. Does that sound familiar? Sounds like something Prophet Drew Ali said to me. Um, active effort to promote human welfare, uplift huma fallen humanity, okay. An act or gift done or made for humanitarian purposes. An organization distributing or supported by funds set aside for humanitarian purposes. So again, I'm gonna shout out Brother Hines Bay. I hope I'm saying your names right, right, please. Um, get up with me again again and let me know if I'm saying it wrong, but um, yeah for getting me into this because Okay, again, so it's goodwill to fellow members of the human race active effort Active effort to promote human welfare. I'm just like this sounds too much like What we're we as Moors, right whether in the temple or without the temple We're supposed to be doing this, you know, you know, you feel the pull to assist you know you feel it right um hopefully you're sincere and you're not greedy about it because you can't get rewards without being greedy about it right and um you got i'm just like wait a minute i googled this to make sure i have the modern definition of it and it brought me to a school of philanthropy that should tell y'all this is a thing where people are actually going to school to study this and it's mostly graduate programs and yeah I might be getting into it because I'm like well y'all teaching people how to have stuff donated I'm figuring y'all got a way for me to do this for free right and I happen to live in this state and I happen to be getting ready to move down here or I'm considering it it's really crazy a lie is the greatest that's all I can say anyway so um so that the next definition <laughs> so that was philanthropy the next definition um what was my next definition? So philanthropy. Yes, I have my notes because why? I respect your time. So the next definition is foundation. And this is from convention. The convention. Here we go. What is it? The convention on biodiversity international. Right. So this is like what international philanthropic organizations have agreed is the definition of a foundation. Right. And um, right there is right there. First thing. Real quick, I'm going to read it to y'all. Philanthropic foundations or simply foundations are non-profit, non-governmental organizations or NGOs 
I'm going to just insert that we, Mercy Charities, the, the charity set up for Moors to do something with it is our bank set us up as an NGO. I didn't ask them to do that. Anyway, so uh, a non-governmental organization with principal funds established by wealthy individuals, groups, or corporations to make grants to charitable organizations. Foundations are managed by their own trustees or directors, just like our triple. Some such entities use the term so-called trust or so-called fund rather than foundation in their names, such as Pew Charitable Trust. Also, some organizations that are called foundations, such as National Parks Foundation, are not philanthropic foundations. Rather, they raise money to carry out their own programs. Since these terms can cause confusion, it is important to research the foundation one is considering through a directory or through the internet. So we have set up ourselves in a directory, a very, very, very expensive directory for the benefit of the Moors, and we will be getting into that. So the next definition, because I'm going to try to stay on, on task because I got to go cook, is grants. Um, and this is grants from irs.com because these are the people who will probably give us the most problems would have if I hadn't set up the <laughs> if I hadn't put Drew Ali over everything like he told us to do right so grants as defined as the uh, by the IRS grants include the following types of expenditures scholarships fellowships internships prizes and awards remember that scholarships part loans for charitable purposes um program related investments Payments to exempt organizations to further the organization's exempt purposes. Grants do not ordinarily include following types of expenditures. As more as we know, when they say shall or may or might or um, do not ordinarily, you know, there's some, there's a, um, what is that? There's a loophole. They're showing you the loophole, right? And that's what you need to look up next, right? Islam to everybody who's joined. I appreciate y'all. Um, so please and, and, and thank you all because I'm glad you're here for whatever reason you're here and I hope that we can work together because you must be here for some, for a reason because I always believe people fall, I hide I, I actually hide right and I figure if you found me we must be supposed to be doing something together so yeah please pay attention take notes if you like all right anyway so um, that's, oh, grants do not ordinarily include the following types of expenditures, do not ordinarily. Salaries or compensation to employees, payments to persons for personal services in helping a foundation, um, plan, evaluate, or develop projects or areas of program activity by consulting, advising, or participating on conferences organized by the foundation. So. What the IRS is saying, oh yeah, grant, somebody can can give you some money for your project and you don't have to pay them back. But usually, not always, sometimes not always, it's not meant to reward the people who are actually putting in that work so they can survive. So that takes us to the next definition. Uh, next definition, operating grant, right? What is an operating grant? And this is from business.com, all right? Operating grant. An operating grant known as an unrestricted grant because there is restricted grants. You can only do this. An unrestricted grant. Do what you want with it. Here you go because we appreciate what you're doing. An unrestricted grant is a working capital fund given to a nonprofit organization to support its general mission and pay for overhead expenses such as rent, salaries, which the IRS said you don't usually get, furniture and other day-to-day -day costs of running a business, which they just said you don't usually get, usually. Operating grants are highly sought after thanks to their unrestricted nature. Organizations are free to use their funds as they see fit. They're highly sought after. So what could make you stand out where you're the one that's chosen? We'll get to that. And I'm glad y'all here because hopefully y'all gonna get a piece of this, right? Because unless y'all, if y'all haven't heard, you know, <laughs> That's my next tattoo. I got a butterfly tattoo and my next one is a golden goose, right? Because I love laying eggs. What can I do with these eggs, right? Anyway, so our next definition is private grant versus public grant. So what's the difference between a pi public 
and a private grant funding. And this is from Cayuse.com. I hope I'm saying that correctly, Cayuse. Um, so the definition they gave. So um, it says grant funding is simple. Public funding comes from federal public funding comes from federal, state, or another publicly funded agency. So from tax money, right? Private funding does not entail public funds and may include both grants and gifts depending on that organization's mission. All right. <laughs> so now that we know the definitions, let's look into what the Moors are leaving on the table because this brother asked how to escape the plantation, right? Because I escaped the plantation. I just, you know, like, oh, look at those sharp rocks. I think I'll uh, catch me. Uh, I had to bounce a couple of times, but now I'm floating, right? And I want to share. And if you don't believe me, I'm, I set up a found, I set up a charity so I can help Moors, right? It does work. And I'm telling you all, I want to, I don't want to say I want to be Harriet Chub, uh, Tubman, right? It's just that like, here, here goes some stuff I found. If you can do what it is that they're asking for, I can help you get it. And I want to help you get it. My thing is, I don't feel like doing the work. I probably can't do the work, but I know how to get access to resources. Do you understand where networking is our biggest problem? Nobody, I, I think it was, who is it? I cannot remember the brother who said it. Um, he said, we are not outnumbered. We are not outsmarted. We're out organized because our people are all in their corners doing their own separate thing. I'm putting this out, letting you know, here's what I am capable of that I am willing to do for you, right? Did you hear me ask for anything in return? It's one of those things like, why do painters paint? You ever heard of broke, starving artists? Why they're starving? Because the art means that much to them, all right? But this can actually benefit all of us and it will. <laughs> considering the energies that's going on right now. And I'm gonna get into that. But anyway, so what are Moors leaving on the table? Because um, I'm not gonna say no names, but I'm gonna just put out a scenario that why I'm glad Brother Himes Bay asked me about this. I actually reached out to a group and, and told them all this. Like, I know how to do this. You all are already doing stuff. Can I help it help y'all where you don't have to come out of pocket for this? Because I've already, it's not a scam because I'm finding other people offering to do this if you know how to ask them in the right way. It, it all comes down to how did you ask them, right? So I sent that to them. I saw they saw it and no response. I'm like, okay, I can't, it's, it's a personal hang up of mine. I can't ask more than once because it feels too much like begging considering what especially considering what I'm doing so oh here's a GoFundMe that I can donate on their behalf and oh here's the organizer let me email him first and then show him that I'm serious by making a donation haven't heard back okay I'm gonna leave it alone because my thing is I'm here to observe right I got a front row seat to the fall of Rome 2.0 or 3.0 wherever we are right now and I'm gonna I'm assist where I can but I'm not going to force myself on anyone. And then Brother Himes asked me, hey, how you do that? <laughs> so, okay, here we are, right? So anyway, what are more is leaving on the table one more time. Um, this is from Tags, Tags, right? Tags, it's called Tracking Accountability and Government Grants System, Tags, right? Cause I'm like, okay, how much money are we actually talking about? Because based on how downtrodden our people have been for a very very long time right at least since 1500 um we can't fathom how much abundance there is out there despite the fact there are numerous billionaires millions of millionaires but we can't see how we can be a part of that right not to give too much credit to krs once but one but you know that line visualize wealth and put yourself in the picture but our people have a problem doing that so you don't know what's possible. Some people don't know what's possible until they, they are shown what's possible. I don't know what a million dollars look like until somebody shows me a million dollars. So let me show you some stuff. How much money are we not taking advantage of, right? So I looked it up. Um, let's go down, let's go through it. So, uh, let's see, total financial assistance given by the United States government 
in 2023, okay, was $1.78 trillion. Trillion, okay? That's how much they gave out. That's not how much was offered, and I'll get into that, right? The total award, so they gave out $1.78 trillion in the form of 143,468 awards, right? Whatever those were, grants, um, because it could be grants or contracts. I'm not sure which one this is. I, I, I just found this today. So the awards, it was 143,000 and some um, awards that totaled 100, 1, 1 1.78 trillion. See how big these numbers are, right? So 1.78 trillion split between 143,468 awards. Total recipients was 16,411 people. 16,411 people split 1.78 trillion dollars. Do you know why? Because nobody else bid. I did the math, right? And if my math is mapping, each one of these 16,000 was they won an average of 8 to 9 awards a piece. These are public public contracts these are not like Raytheon and the government not those big companies these are the ones that set aside for um who is that um small businesses that's why that number is so small because you know the the Pentagon gets like eight billions or eight trillion something a year this is what they gave away in grants to small businesses and individuals in 2023 and it was only 16,000 recipients got this why only 16,000? Because in my experience, people who don't even begin to meet the requirements or already have, or they've already received a few grants. Remember I said they got between eight to nine grants on average? Even though you don't qualify and you've already gotten two of these grants, nobody else applied. So here you go. And then you wonder why there's government waste. Fine, you can waste that on me. How about that? Or waste that on us, because I'm not selfish. Why would I set up a, <laughs> I set up a, you know, in real talk, I set up a charity because I was scared of having all that money in my bank account. It made me nervous. And then, you know how that goes. I try to give away 20, here comes 60, or sometimes 200, right? Because you take one step towards a lot, a lot takes 10 step, steps towards you. So, next, show me the money. Where is all this? 499 billion was donated privately. I think that was a combination of, and that's in 2022, and that might have been in a combination, but that's like they, they're they um, calculating foundations and individuals. And it turns out individuals give more than foundations. I can testify to that because um, or Mercy Charities is sitting on quite a, a little a, 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 a fat egg if you want to see you got to go on mercycharities.org it's right up there you can see it because i believe in full transparency because we and that's only from um individual donors and it turns out individual donors donate the most but anyway so in addition to the 1.73 billion that the federal government is making available in the form of grants and contracts for small businesses and individuals here's at least in 2022 500 billion from private donors so what's more is problems right um so let me continue on let me go through my notes so i don't get off track so i gotta go cook. um okay so where is all this stuff where you find all this stuff let me show you where you find all this stuff here we go private grants this is where you find the private money right you can access this through at most libraries right i can't say all but i think most libraries have it and um, what this is, this is a database of, I, I think it's like every body that's registered as a, a, a foundation or a private donor and everybody that's registered as a charity to receive those donations. And we're set up in this, you know, shout out to, you know, shameless plug, Khalifa Media donated to get this subscription. So me personally, I don't have to go down to the library because it's, it's a little distance away from me um, to use this. I can just use it whenever I want. And if somebody lets me know what they're doing, I can go in here and whenever I feel like it 
and look up something for you or for instance right um so yeah so we have access to this $1,600 gift until January 25 again we have access so they got an example up in here it says ballet school in New York City animal shelter blah 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 so um, I could put up in there um, children uh -oh, programs um, Indiana because that's where I am and this thing is crazy because it will tell me how many people are doing that here so it's 1,800, 1,828 people or grant makers, those are the uh, 1,828 individuals or organizations are doing this for this, right? And there are 13,000 plus grants, 2,000 plus recipients. So 13,000 grants split between 2,000 recipients. That's telling you how much money is being left on the table because they're going back and double dipping because nobody else is asking right and then it goes in and it lists all the people it's doing here and it's yeah it's it's 1800 results and then it actually goes in and tells you who got the who got those grants because so you can see what are they doing because i might be doing something that they're doing because they must be doing something right because they got one of these grants and then it goes in and shows you how much they got you it's like you generalize like what did they get who are they what's their what are their moves? How much did they get? Because maybe I can see how I act the same way and use that when I go and apply for this stuff. Mercy Charities is set up to be a bomb, a fiscal sponsor, where if you are not set up as a 501c3, we can get the grant for you and fund you. We'll just be in charge of um, submitting all the paperwork to make sure you're in compliance, which we're willing to do. <laughs> That's the part. It's like, I, it's like, I think people think this is like, there's a catch. It's very frustrating knowing that you know how to do something and you're willing to do it and nobody, and you feel like nobody wants it. Right. Uh, yeah. It drives me nuts. So um, next part, what did I go to? Let me grab that light. Okay. Um, so that's where the foundation, that's where the private grants are. And we have access to that until January of 2025. So the public grants, all right, I'm done with that. The public grants, right? I just got done with setting up all of my um, businesses in Sam.gov because Sam.gov, you go in here and you get all your stuff set up and that gives you access to like um, international contracts, um, grants. So you go through here, this is your hub and then you can sign up for all the other government money. I am not working for the government. I'm giving them a chance to get to give me my stuff back and also free my people while I'm at it, right? Um, and then I don't know if some of you all are aware of the profit, how the Moors weren't paying taxes in Chicago because they weren't employed through any, this is before income tax anyway, was it? No, it wasn't. Um, so they weren't paying taxes because everybody was working through the temple so the temple i want to work for and this actually happened i want to work for al capone's hotel right true story i want to go work because i'm from chicago true true story i want to work for al capone's hotel al capone wants to hire me but he won't hire me unless i bring a whole bunch of my people with me why is that because he said moors are the only ones he can trust not to steal from his um patrons right um so Instead of um, hiring me as a Moor, I went, took myself to the temple and let the prophet or his secretary know what was going on. And the temple contracted with Al Capone or his whatever he had set up on behalf of these Moors. So um, the temple was contracting with this hotel. The hotel was paying the temple and then the temple was distributing funds to the Moors who were doing all that work. OK, that's what this is. So give me what's rightfully mine, because the only reason you're able to do this is because you're sucking my resources. So I'm, a, I'm not going to like, you know, I'm not going to go the long route and try to get you kicked out of the country because I might turn into Moses and, you know, that might outlive me. <laughs> so in the meantime, let me get let me apply for some of these these um, funds, because once again, what was it? One point seven trillion with a T grants and contracts distributed between 16,000 recipients 
So it's not saying um, I'm, we bullying people out the way. It's like, oh, sorry, you couldn't get eight contracts. You only got five this year. I think they'll be all right. All right. So um, this is Sam.gov. We're already set up. If you want to set up your own stuff, I can. Pro it's a lengthy process, right? You got to go back and forth because it's bureaucracy. I just got done. I started this process last year. I just got done yesterday. Okay. Uh, I think it's exactly a year later. And I'm waiting for one more thing, right? So I guess I'm not technically done. But we're already set up. If you want to set up your own thing, I will be glad to help you, uh, assist you with that. Um, no cost. Because for what? Anyway, um, so next is grant.gov. Again, you go in and sam.gov, get your, all, your stuff all set up. And then they say, well, when you go here, you have to log in with whatever you set up in sam.gov. That's why I just said it's lengthy and it's bureaucracy. But um, yeah, I got this um, highlighted, but I guess I highlighted an opportunity and not the website itself, which is perfect because this segues into um, all the public money. This is like, okay, y'all paying taxes to Rome, right? And they have these funds allocated for receipt by the so-called public. It's like, okay, we're going to steal a hundred, we're going to steal all this money for it from you. And then we're going to give it back, like maybe... 30% back in the form of funds. And it's a lot of money. It's a lot, right? And it's stuff that Moors are doing for other people. And I'm just like, y'all could be working for yourselves, right? How many times have you said, oh, this, oh, oh, this podcaster, he's gone for a, a couple of months because he's working on a grant so he don't have to work for a couple of years, right? Um, no, okay, so it's like, Al Capone had his whole yeah Al Capone was a bitch what you think he was doing with that money laundering money how do you launder money all right you got to put it through different you got to wash it through different businesses have you if you've ever seen uh Breaking Bad you know instead of having a car wash he had hotels <laughs> and casinos and you know speakeasies and all that stuff but anyway um so this is the federal level right there's also the local level what's going on in your state what's going on in your county what's going on in your city all of them have this exact thing going on right i just did federal because i'm like that's the easiest one to go in because it's just one thing and then i can like once i get good at that i can whittle it down to the specifics of county and uh, municipal and all that stuff right but that's here um so anyway yeah a lot of people have left their job doing this contracting stuff all right. Some examples, like I said, I, I, I guess I bookmarked an actual grant opportunity, right? So the grant, this grant was, what is this? Um, the, so the closing date, this is how you read these. When is it due? I got to have it due by May 22nd. So there's still like a month and some time left over. And the, the least they'll give you if you apply and win it is 10,000. The most they'll give you is 25,000. And there's four awards expected. What is this even for? Um, this is for... Oh, I remember this one. This is why I was going to sign up for something else. This is for a mission, a U.S. mission to Jamaica. Who want to go to Jamaica and get the United States to pay for it? A mission to Jamaica. Can you imagine? They are issuing grants for people to go to Jamaica to represent this country. Hello? Anybody interested? <laughs> I'm just saying, and it's just like, I'm willing to go get the money. Can somebody else please organize this? Do you know some Moors who want to go to Jamaica and represent us? And they'll pay for it because there's, oh, it can't be to set up an embassy because there's four awards. They're giving away four of them. And guess what? One person is probably going to apply and get all four. That's how that happens. All right. And the total funding is $100,000. How far will $100,000? We could set up a temple in Jamaica with this. Do you think they would be willing to help us? Anyway, and I'm going to get into they. They on both. Well, they as in they, the United States, not they in Jamaica, because I think they'd be down for it. Anyway, so that's one that I accidentally clicked on. That's a grant. All right. And I'm going to get into some more grants in a second. This contract thing, brother Ronnie. Um... So you go into Sam, and I think you can just like search this without having to sign in, right? You go into Sam, where is it? And um, contract opportunities, contract opportunities. I get into this one because I don't know if y'all know, my mother worked for GSA 
for like I don't know eight, at least 18 years she was like a, a big muckety muck she was up there she was a regional something right and um so she was the one who was awarding these contracts so I'll just leave that right there yeah I grew up with somebody who was awarding this and um, I got to hear everything so you come in here and I like I put in janitorial just to search it because this is the one that'll get you retired the way you can retire at 45 because don't nobody want to do it right so if you don't mind emptying trash cans or hiring somebody else managing and hiring managing a company where somebody is picking up trash emptying dumpsters mopping floors dusting you know maybe sanitizing once in a while 351 contracts currently for people doing janitorial all over this country and internationally okay remember what i just said about the moors working for al capone 15 pages of opportunities we're set up we're set up ready to go right what are we missing people it's always the same problem people for want of a nail right if you've ever heard that um that fable so um that's contract and you can type in anything like i would type in me i would type in um printing i don't know because i do i run a um, book company so printing right and search for it you can do this without setting up an account right and just see what's out there so it's 25 oh 173 opportunities printers equipment harassment policy mailings okay i would do that i can do i can do mailers how much are they offering uh let's see so i'm just going through showing y'all what's out here so i would have to go through yeah it's a thing yeah it's a thing so you would actually have to go to their specific website this government agencies so the printing the publishing officer office you would have to go through their website and i've been to their website they always got tons of contracts up right um and i'm like should i just shut down my company my book company or leave it like on, on idle <laughs> and just do this because this looks like real a lot of fun so that's the contracts right there's also what is this i don't know oh grants right here go to grants these grants are crazy so um this is the national endowment for the humanities right and you just click here on grants oh how did i find this i found this because every single day every single day see where it says do not reply do not reply do not reply these are emails i'm signed up with you know you like a, a mailing list from grants.gov can you let me know when a new grant is available in these specific areas they email me every single day and i'm like oh it must just be they're repeating the same ones and because the, the emails are quite lengthy right no they're not repeating the same ones because once upon one of these grants i was looking at they actually published an update and that was the only thing in the email so these are all the different government grants right and i'm not saying we work for the grant the government these are monies that's been allocated i say we go get our stuff because where are they getting these funds and resources from um right oh let me go back to this one <laughs> Grant. So that's why I said the national, you can go to the National Endowment for the Humanities because they emailed me something about it and it led me to this website for the, the this is a, a government agency, the National Endowment for the Humanities, right? And you click on grants and it's a ton of stuff, right? But then it stuck out to me, right? Cultural and community resilience. This one, they're, they're paying people to record somebody's experience of how COVID changed their their whole paradigm right and I don't know how many more as I've heard say 2020 was the best year of my life okay do you want to can I record you saying that in detail because they'll pay us for it right and um this is like an ongoing one because I, oh man it's been going I've actually looked into it this you see how old this picture is this fund has been going on for a long time so you can spend like, oh, I just found this in 2024. Let me do all my research and then apply for it in 2025. All right. That kind of thing. Maximum award, $150,000. And I would love to record the child, the difference between the children who went to school pre-COVID and the ones who didn't go to school post-COVID or who went to school post-COVID. Like they were stuck at home. Uh, for instance, my daughter was stuck at home right and by the time she went back to school or went to school which i eventually pulled her out of 
um, because of her being stuck at home, when she went to school, she didn't know what black people were or what white people were. She had no idea what they were talking about at school. Get it? So, and that could be juxtaposed with their parents' experience. They're willing to pay you to do that. You know, some, are you already around Moors? Some people are, are willing to pay you to talk to them. <laughs> it's wild. And they got a whole thing where they've been doing this like since the 40s or 50s or something, right? They want to just get people's stories down so they can see the how it's changing over time. Um, so that's the, uh, oh, the one that I really like. Um, so here goes some ones. I would love to go after them. But my thing is, I'm a Gemini, all right? So my attention span is microscopic. So it'll be like, oh, let me get that. Okay, that's done. Oh, let me get that. Okay, that's done. So I hop from thing to thing. And it's like, can you, can you just take care of that from for, forever type of thing? And um, it'll take care of you, promise. Um, Oh, my pictures. Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. These. Okay, so this one, Elder Grant. It's an Elder Grant, all right? This mug is talking about, um, it's due in June. And I'm considering going to go get it. But I don't know if I can do it because it's just me. I'm one person. I know that I am one person. You know, I have no 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 problem admitting that. And I admit I know that one person can't do this. So the least they'll give you for applying is a dollar. <laughs> but the most they'll give you is 20 million. All right. There's 115 million dollars allocated and 20 awards anticipated. Remember what I just said, how a trillion dollars, 400,000 awards were sent, were split between 16,000 people because they applied, they probably just got all of them, right? Um, so I'm like, okay, I love, like I said, my moon is conjunct Saturn. I love elders, I can't get enough of them. I think it's because it's they make me feel childlike, right? Because they're old, they're older, they're like parents, right? So what is this thing? So. This grant is for from the Department of Urban and of Housing and Urban Development. It says that Section 202 Supportive Housing for the Elderly Program provides capital advance funding for the development of supportive, re, re, supportive rental housing for very low income persons aged 62 or older and project rental subsidies, subsidies in the form of project rental assistance contract to maintain ongoing affordability. This program provides elderly persons with the opportunity to live independently, but with important voluntary support such as nutritional, transportation, continuing education, and or health related services. In addition, this year's uh, notice of financial offering, NFO, includes funding to support the development and intergenerational housing of elderly caregivers raising children. How many of our women do you know raising their grandbabies? Intergenerational dwelling units are also referred to as intergenerational housing for this NFO. Capital advance funds must be used to finance construction, reconstruction, moderate or substantial rehabilitation. How about all those broke down buildings in Chicago and all over Chicago, right? New York, all those broke down buildings or acquisition of a structure with or without rehabilitation. Capital advance funds bear no interest and repayment is not required provided the housing remains available for occupancy for by very low income elderly persons for at least 40 years. Here go a project and this is the thing, this is to get you started, right? This is to get you started. These people, who, where are they? These people keep you going. Foundation directory, these are the ones that keep you going because they're private donors. So they're like, yeah, we willing to fund you, but we don't want to pay for the whole thing, right? Like we'll buy beds if you got a building. Anybody interested, right? How many people want to help our, our elderly and our children? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Right. And this ain't limited. They didn't say nothing about grandmothers. It just said elders. These could be grandfathers, too. Me personally, I got this thing about helping dudes. It's like, are you kidding me? Are women and children? I'm going to focus. Me personally, I focus on the women and the children. All right. Because I figure men are stronger than me and are not saddled with three children. And might as well have four because the one in college still keeps sucking off me. <laughs> if I'm able to do this. Y'all better not need my help. If you do, come ask for me. Come ask me for some help. I dare a dude come ask me for some help. 
for real. So yeah, my thing is, are you kidding me? These people are willing to to help you give you at least a dollar up to 20 million dollars to house your old people who are taking care of their grandbabies or in some of our cases great great grandbabies and you know you know somebody like that right i am willing to do that work i have already downloaded all the paperwork but i'm just like what if i get it what if i get it then what i got 20 million dollars sitting in my account and nobody to help me i guess i'm not gonna have to hire some foreigners to do this right which is why it's like i'm not i would rather not do it I, w I would rather not do it than to hire them. So if I sound a little uh, passionate, it's because I'm a little, you, right? You know how we all got our part to play in this? My thing is acquisition. I could care less about the funds. I just like I just like the thrill of getting it, right? And then I forget about it because I'm on to the next, all right? If you all haven't seen what um, Mercy Charities did last year, that's why Mercy Charities has been so quiet this year. And this is not a shit not to shade the, the board members on Mercy because we actually have board members. Um, a lot of this is me just because I move so fast. That's that, all that Aries energy I have. And now this thing is just jacking it up, right? So I just move fast and I let them know every other month in our board meeting meetings. Yeah, this is what I did. <laughs> and you know, if they if they aren't watching Instagram, they might not know what's going on. And it, since I bring that up, we are actually looking for board members, but you actually got to bring something. You can't just be like, oh, I'm on the board. No, what are you here to do, right? What's your aim? Because um, I go on to foundation directory and it's kind of like pointless, right? Because my thing is flowing. I have my thing going on, right? And it's just like, well, it, 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 you know how you can't get interested in it if you can't see the the, the, the purpose? Like, I, I'm fine. I'm fine, right? I wish somebody had something they, you know, I wish somebody could tell me what they want to look up, right? You see what I mean? Like, oh, I want to contract on, oh, I don't know, teaching children financial literacy. You do know banks pay for that. They'll be glad to pay for that because they got to set aside a certain number of, a certain amount of their, um, they're ill-gotten gains. You know how that is? You know, uh, yeah, I stole a million. I'm going to give away 25000 Why don't you put your hand out? Or allow me. But I don't know if you need it if you don't say nothing. So why am I banging on the moors about this? I'm about to wrap this up. I don't know how long I've been on here. Again, so why am I being so pushy? Because we're prophesied to come out of this mess with great substance, right? Uh, scripture says, is this a countdown? Uh-oh. Okay, it says, scripture says, I don't know what's going on. Scripture says um, nothing about. So, OK, let me start over. We are prophesied to come out of this mess with so-called great substance. Right. That's a scriptural reference. And it says nothing about it being delivered that we actually got to go and get it. Right. So what does the Bible say? I'm just referring to I'm referring to some other stuff, too. But from the Bible, Exodus 12, 35 through 36. Right. Now the sons of Israel had done according to the word of Moses, for they had requested from the Egyptians articles of silver and articles of gold and clothing. And the Lord had given the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians so that they let them have their requests. Thus, they plundered the Egyptians. Yeah. <laughs> and that's from um, <laughs> Bible.com. Plundered the Egyptians. They said, give me. And they gave it over. They didn't have to fight for it. They had to, but they did have to go get it, right? They had to actually say something. And then let's see, Genesis 15, uh, verse 13 through 14. And he said unto Abram, know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs. They shall serve them and they shall afflict them 400 years. And also that nation whom they serve, I will judge. And afterward, they shall come out with great substance. All right. So again, this this uh what is it? This this eclipse is is major just because of where it's happening. It's a it's, this is a real reset. You know how Caucasians always trying to I'm gonna specifically point them out. They always trying to like force stuff. Oh, we going to breed some red heifers so we can hurry this up. <laughs> we going to put some people in Israel so we can hurry this up, right? We going to pick on Iran so we can start this third war cuz we got to get this moving. Then there's the rest of us who wait for signs in the sky, like an eclipse, a total eclipse in Aries of all signs. Yeah, of all. And then they trying to, you know, they predicted the weather for this thing two months ago. 
How do you predict the month, the weather two months in advance? To me, that sounds like you plan on doing something because, you know, y'all got the power to block an eclipse. OK. <laughs> anyway, so there's that. And then let's not forget what's from New Drew Ali. Right. Quote, if the if the European and other nations are helping me through grants. Right. Why not you? I need the people to come get this money and do something with it because, you know, they, they want to see you doing something with it. You can't just sit in your account. It is your problem. The Negro problem is being solved only as it can as it can and that it it is by the Moorish National and Divine Movement. If you have a nation, you must have a free national name in order to be recognized by this nation as an American citizen. This is what is meant by when it is said, seek you ye first the kingdom of heaven. Check. Y'all know you Moors, right? And all these things will be added on to you. Now that you know you Moors, what are you? Wait, let me start that over. So now that you know you Moors, and now that you know you are old, it's been mentioned in quite a few places. What are you actually going to do about it? What are you going to act, you know, get up and do about it, right? My offer, me personally again, because I move fast. <laughs> sign up on our site. Site. Did I bring that up? Let me see. Is this up? You can either sign up because you're a talented individual or you can let us know what your group is doing by certified Moorish intake form, right? Um why what's the aim for this all right to take back the nine areas of activity for our moorish nation what are the nine areas of activity if you're familiar with neely fuller and you should be familiar with dr francis crest Wilson, right the nine areas of activity are economics education entertainment labor law politics religion sex war counter war okay and using the mythical 20 year story of Yakub, I don't know if y'all familiar with that, right? How his people were causing all those problems. And then he made a deal with the, the Pharaoh or whoever saying, if you give us 20 years and all the resources we need, then we'll be able to go for ourselves. Here we go. It's a reset. This is like an, a straight up reset in the sky, right? And I'm lucky because I'm in like 45 minutes from right where that X is like intersection, intersecting. So yeah, I get to see the whole thing. I don't know what this is about, right? And I've been here for seven years. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. So anyway, I'm just saying, these people are scared. They're freaking out, right? There's a lot of abundance. And a limited number of people are getting it, not because they're actually doing what they need to be doing with it. Because I don't know if you've heard about this one guy. He set up a... Uh, <laughs> He set up a homeless shelter for, uh, what was it? Uh, transsexual youth, right? He just got caught up because they just now figured out he's, they, ca they called him up for fraud after he stole a hundred million dollars over the course of like 10 years. It took them 10 years to notice a hundred million dollars was missing from what he was supposed to be doing with that money. How did he even get that money? Because somebody else didn't apply for it. It's that simple, right? So again, this is my personal offer. I'm not gonna like saddle my cohorts with this. If y'all have something you're doing, you can go on our website and sign up and let us know what you're doing because I'll be glad. I had this thing for a year, right? I'm gonna be using it. And uh, for instance, um, I was looking on one foundation for some grants, right? And then I look at the top on the menu and it says grants, initiatives, uh, donor, donor portal, scholarships yeah these same people that's giving away grants are giving away scholarships so now i'm searching for it's like well i'm looking for a grant for my charity oh look there's a scholarship thing and my son is getting ready to go to school in another year or so or college so i might as well do you have any children getting ready to go to college you know since i'm coming across it anyway i'll make a list of it and let you know if i know that you're looking for something like that that kind of thing right so lastly 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 right what does mercy charities get out of this we get to help for some such as pretty much everybody on this whole uh what is that foundation that whole thing some of these people the only motivation they get is that they want to help right so they set up a giving apparatus and that's you know that's why they're there in the first place they actually went through the, the problem uh, the trouble because where's my book and this book is really good i suggest anybody who's interested in long boring financial discussion it's actually it's not book boring at all which is funny because um uh, i don't like math books oh here we go but this one is good i think i've shown it to y'all before 
managing foundations and charitable trust, right? Know your lane before you start talking. So yeah. So yeah. Uh, so um, just a disclaimer as part of this process. So what else do we get out of it? We get to help, but as part of this process, if, su- if successful in obtaining the grant, no more than 10 of the rewarded funds will be retained by Mercy Charities so we can keep doing this, right? So if we get you $2 million, we asking for what? $200,000? I think y'all will be all right. <laughs> It'll be like that, right? Um, so, yeah. And, yeah, I think that's all I got. So thank you, y'all. I appreciate y'all for joining me for this explore- exploration. Thank you again to Brother Ronnie Himes. Bay, I hope I'm saying your name right, for um, asking the question. So, again, together in the knowledge of... The, the spirit of knowledge and understanding we forge a future that respects and celebrates our rich heritage and the boundless potential of our united community all right please be sure to share this video i'm recording this for youtube please be sure to share this video engage with us in the comments and join us as we continue to uncover and celebrate our heritage and get what's ours right Visit khalifamedia.com for more insights discussions and revelations and together let's embrace our past to shape our future right until next time keep seeking keep questioning right you can email me if you got another question i'm at islam at khalifamedia.com or tnig at mercycharities.org right so yeah keep embracing your true identity all that good stuff thank you for being here thank you for watching and remember your identity is your legacy what you gonna do with it islam peace and bye-bye y'all